Welcome back artistic ladies and gentlemen to another Fun Friday episode in this Pokemon TCG online series. Fun Fridays is all about silly and fun deck ideas. Today I dug up a deck list out of the depths of my PTCGO account, a list that I made a long time ago, way before I started recording for YouTube. I was scrolling through my deck manager, noticed the list, took a look at it, still like the idea of it, so I thought why not showcase it to you for Fun Fridays. It is an Excredil list, Excredil, the stage 1 metal type Pokemon with 110 hit points and the Omega Barrage trait, allowing it to attack twice in one turn, so we can hit for the Dredge and the Meklaw all in the same turn. Dredge for a colorless energy, we get to search our deck for two energy cards, attach them to Excredil, and then we shuffle our deck afterwards. Notice how it says two energy cards, not basic energy cards, which means we can search our deck for things like DCE or even Shield Energy. Shield Energy is a special special type of metal energy that once attached to Excredil reduces damage done to Excredil by 10. So if you have two special energies or two shield energies attached to Excredil, re reduce damage done to Excredil by 20. I run two shield energies in this deck list as well as two DCEs and six metal energies. If we have those two shield energies attached, Excredil basically has 130 HP or the equivalent of that. Then if we have the training center in play, the stadium of choice here, three copies of training center, our Excredil gets 30 more hit points, basically giving it 160 hit points total, making it already quite a tank for my opponent to deal with, certainly because we only give up one prize when my opponent knocks out our Excredil. And also because our Excredil can hit for the Mech Claw twice in one turn if our Excredil was already powered up. There is no need to go for the Dredge then, we can just attack twice for the Mech Claw for 50 damage times 2 is 100 damage which is not affected by resistance, so uh, Fairy Pokemon, <laughs> too bad for you, because Fairy Pokemon typically have metal resistance, we don't care, we just hit for 100 damage against you. Slap on a Muscle Band, I run 3 copies of Muscle Band in this decklist, we are hitting for 70 times 2 is 140 damage in the same turn, and that is getting pretty darn close to the magical number of 170 damage. 170 is a magical number because it is enough to knock out a lot of EXs in one hit in the current format. Is there any way that we can get or we can bring this damage up to 170? And yes, there is. We combine Excredil with a Zubat, Golbat and Crobat line. If we evolve into Golbat, we get to put two damage counters on one of our opponent's Pokemon. If we evolve into Crobat, we get to put three damage counters on one of our opponent's Pokemon. These damage counters in combination with the Mechla can be enough to one-shot an EX from our opponent. Typically we won't be one-shotting Mega Pokemon, but that's okay because we still only give up one prize against them, so two-shotting them is fine for us. But if we can, we will one-shot EX Pokemon like um, Evil Tall, like even a Zygarde, because a Zygarde, all we need to do is uh, hit for the Mechla twice and then evolve into a Crobat as well as... Uh, Golbat, I mean, as well as a Crobat in the same turn. It's a little bit tough to do that, but we can certainly pull that off. It is certainly not impossible. I have a 4-3 line of uh, Drill Burr and x -Rail. Only 3 x -Rail because I do run 2 Super Odds. And 2 Super Odds because I run a lot of Sycamore, 4 Sycamores in this list to speed through my deck, find my x -Rails as well as my bats. We need to bench our Zubats in our first turn or in our second turn to make good use of them uh, in the rest of the game. And I do run two level balls to get out our Zubats as well as our Drill Burst in combination with this Sycamore. One copy of N for draw supports and is going to help us in the late game mainly to reduce our opponent's hand size. What's also going to help us to draw through our deck is Shaman. Two copies of Shaman. Uh, Shaman, very useful as always to draw through our deck. We can also attack with it for the Sky Return because I do have two DCEs in the list. So Sky Return is definitely a possibility for us to pull off if we want to get the Shaman back into our hands to bench again for some more setup. Then I also run two Wallies. Wallies. Our, or Wally is going to help us to get out our extra drill in our first turn and then we can immediately hit for a dredge in our first turn if we are going second as well as a mech law and attack for 70 damage 
This can be huge against decks like Greninja Break, because if my opponent started off with a Froakie wallied into a Frogadier in his first turn and passed the turn to us, we actually have a chance to knock out that Frogadier immediately, and we need to do that because Greninja Break can very easily deal with our Excadrill. Since Excadrill has such a low HP, even with the Training Center in play, uh, Greninja Break still very easily deals with it. We also need to watch out if my opponent is playing Stage 1s or Stage 2s himself, that we don't always bench our Training Center, or that we only bench it when we are sure we can one-hit kill my opponent Stage 1s and Stage 2s, because, because we don't want to give my opponent more HP and then have him be alive after we attacked him. We want to one-shot our opponent's EXs as much as we can. So Training Center uh, is going to be a bit of a difficult play if you are facing Stage 1s and Stage 2s in my opponent's deck. Then I also have four Ultra Balls to help get out our extra drills in combination with those level balls that I searched earlier. Three Trainers Mail to look for our level balls as well as our Ultra Balls and also our Super Rods. Even possibly the Startling Megaphone, one copy of Startling Megaphone to get rid of Fighting Fury Belt. Fighting Fury Belt on EXs is uh, disastrous for us because that gives my opponent 210 hit points and we cannot quite deal with those 210 hit points to get 1 hit KOs. We don't want to deal with that, so we are going to Startling Megaphone away my opponent's Fighting Fury Belt if we can. One Compressor in this list to help us get out the Wally in our first turn. We can compress the Wally and then get it back with a VS Seeker if we have a VS Seeker in our hand for example. And finally, some one-offs, some one-off supporters. We have one AZ. AZ is going to be used to pick up the bat slide and put it back down again, as well as possibly the Shaman EX just to draw into some more Pokemon. And then one Hex Maniac to counter Greninja Break, to counter Vespa Queen Vileplume, to counter Trevenant Break. You know the decks uh, that are popular in the meta right now and rely on abilities. And finally, one Lysander to Lysander out our opponent's Shaman because Excrell can hit for a one-hit KO on a Shaman very easily very easy two prizes for us right there and to license out any other target also to license around Trevenant break because uh, if we can license up a phantom on my opponent's bench we give ourselves a turn of item cards which can be huge a uh, huge against uh, Trevenant and possibly also a Vespa Queen Vileplume that's it, that is this deck in a nutshell. I think the strategy is pretty clear. It's all about getting those one hit KOs. And I will go into the versus ladder right now, see if I can still pull out those one hit KOs as I used to with this deck. I remember this deck being a lot of fun. That's why it is on Fun Fridays. It's nowhere near a competitive deck, but fun it is for sure. Obviously, I made some slight tweaks to the to the original list because the original list was a bit outdated. For example, I replaced a judge with an N and things like that. Anyways, let's see if we can find ourselves our first opponent. Our first opponent of the day is Mecha with Metal and a colorless deck. So it's going to be Metal vs Metal. Although my opponent is not playing any other types, while we are playing Psychic types as assistants, we want a coin flip. We will go first, there's no doubt about it. We want to go first, bench our Drillbur and our Zubats, if we can. We start off with a Drillbur, but no draw support and no Ultra Balls for Shaman or anything like that. So we will have to see if we can find a, an N or a Sycamore from the Trainers Mail. There's an Aegis Slash, which means we should be careful here with attaching shield energies. Let's get a Zubat. I don't think my opponent will be able to power up that Aegis Slash in the first turn unless he somehow manages to retreat it to the bench, uh, max Luxir, and then put it back in the active spot. Uh, we'll attach a Muscle Band to our Drill Burr. Maybe not. Let's first look at the Trainers Mail before we do that. Um, Ultra Ball or Sycamore. I'm actually going to go for the Ultra Ball, not the Sycamore. Discard the, the Crobat as well as the Shield Energy, since we are up against the Aegis Slash. And we are going to get out a Shaman, only one Shaman in the deck, so the other Shaman is prized. Then at, let's attach the Muscle Band and bench the Shaman, draw into four cards. We can always pick it up again with the AZ here. Can we find another Zubat? We find a DCE. Excellent. Let's attach that DCE straight away. In the next turn, we can attack actually. And there is a level ball for a Zubat. Fantastic. Possibly actually a Drill Burr, but I think the Zubat is uh, the better play here. Even though we have two X Drill in hand. And then we are going to AZ 
our shaman and draw into three more cards hopefully find another drill burr and then we can evolve both drill burrs in the next turn we get a wally i am going to discard wally and oh tough one well, now I attached that DCE, I forgot we were up against an egg slash. I was talking about shield energies and then I just attached a DCE there. Uh, we actually need to find X Maniac then. So I'm gonna discard the Wally and this regular energy. Get out a Drill Burr. In the next turn, we can evolve our, dr evolve our Drill Burrs. And then Sycamore tried to find our Hexmaniac for the turn after that because I was stupid enough to attach that DCE. Uh, I was so excited to see the DCE, but I forgot in the process we were up against Aegislash. Floatstone on Aegislash, my opponent discards his entire hand, and includes three energies and a Bronze Song. It starts powering up the Aegislash and a pass of the turn. So not too many things there for my opponents. A pretty slow start for my opponents. But he has that wall going. That is definitely in his advantage. I'm going to a uh, super odds because otherwise I will have to discard my super odds. Uh, shuffle back the Crobat and the energy and then we will seek more. Can we find Hex Maniac? We do not find Hex Maniac. We don't actually find anything really here. Uh, well, let's start powering up the, the extra drill on our bench. Attach a muscle band to the extra drill and we shall just End our turn, I think. I might as well dredge. Let's see, let's take a look at our deck. There is a Hex Maniac and a Battle Compressor. We only have one VS Seeker left. What? Three VS Seekers are prized. Three VS Seekers are prized. I cannot believe that. Well, let's get out a Shield Energy. Might as well attach that Shield Energy, thin out our deck a bit. Reduce damage done to this egg slash. Uh, we can actually retreat into uh, the other egg scroll in the next turn and then dredge for two energies and then attack for the mech claw. That might be the play here. Which means I'm going to dredge once more. Attach a DCE to this egg scroll. And so that we can always switch back into this x drill once this egg slash is knocked out and attack with the other x drill uh, unfortunately we have to discard those special energies there is another energy and an n all right i am very happy with that n now we might be able to attack with the x drill in the active spot with five energies on it and doesn't look like it we don't find hex maniac there but we do have another basic metal energy there's two bronzers we could license out bronzers and knock out bronzers that is definitely a possibility. We could knock out one of those bronzers. And I think I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do that while I power up the other X drill. Uh, that is going to be my play. For sure. Uh, this Aegis Slash cannot knock us out. Because we reduce damage by 10. So if my opponent attaches one more energy, my opponent is doing 100 minus 10 is 90. My opponent needs to attach two energies to the Aegis Slash to knock us out. Uh, here's a Gold bats. let's put 20 on the Genesect, because Genesect has more HP, we only need a Crobat for the Aegis Slash, so let's put 20 on the Genesect, and then let's attach this energy to our x Drill. Lysener out the Bronzor, bench our Stadium as well, make sure our x Drill does not go down, maybe not, let's keep it in our hands for now, I don't think it will go down in the next turn. So we will mech claw for the knockout here on this Bronzor. Take the first prize of the game. Hopefully we can find a draw support or a VS Seeker or something here. We need something nice. And it is a Shaman. That's good. That's good. And then we will mech claw for nothing against the Aegis Slash. So now we can start drawing into some more cards with our Shaman. Hopefully find a Hex Maniac. And Energy will get hit for 90 damage and a Sycamore. My opponent discarded a Bronzong Break. Bronzong Break got discarded. I want to license out that other Bronzor. That is what I want to do. Slow down my opponent tremendously. If we can knock out those Bronzors, we stand a really, really good chance at taking this game. In the next turn, we can uh, Ultra Ball for uh, 
Crobat, Crobat put 30 on Aegislash and then knock out the Aegislash, hopefully uh, with the Exodil on the bench or possibly even with the Exodil in the, in the active spot. There is a Shaman, very easy target, Max, La Max Alexir onto the Genesec, but it fails, it fails. And a Slash Blast for 90 damage. Alright, can we take two prizes this turn? Uh, another stadium. Uh, let's bench this stadium. We are going to get out the Crobat right here. Uh, we will keep this stadium in our hands as a counter stadium. Let's get out the Crobat. Put 30 on uh, the Egg Slash. And then hope we can find an energy or the Hex Maniac. The Hex Maniac is what I want to see. An energy is okay because then we can retreat and go for the knockout. And there is an energy, no Hex Maniac, no Hex Maniac. So a retreat it is into a fresh x drill. Let's discard this DCE and the shield energy. And go for the knockout here with our Mac Claw. I could Sycamore. Do I have used have I used any of my super rods? I have used one. I have the second one in my hands. Hmm. I want to find, I want to find a vehicle for a Lysander. I should be able to get a vehicle from the prizes here, I think. So I'm not gonna seek more, because I know I only have one vehicle in my deck. I want to keep the super rods to shuffle back the energies from the Excrill once it gets knocked out. So we will hit for a Mech Claw for 70 and 70 more, which is the knockout if I'm not mistaken. And just like that, we have taken three prizes against my opponent's Metal Toolbox deck. What do we get? Is it a VS Seeker? It is a VS Seeker and another VS Seeker. So we found two of our VS Seekers that were prized. One more VS Seeker is prized. My opponent promotes a Shaman, Flowstone on a Shaman. And a VS Seeker for an N. No! No! We had such a good hand. Can we get a VS Seeker back into our hands? We need to license out that Bronzor. It needs to happen. That will win us the game right here. Without the Bronzongs, my opponent cannot do anything. Another Max Elixir fails. That is really unfortunate for my opponent. Uh, this one I think will hit. Yes, there he goes. At least, at least there's that for my opponent. With the other Max Elixir, he could have powered up the Genesec actually. And knocked us out. So we are lucky that my opponent did not uh, hit that other Max Elixir. But if he did, he would have had to discard all um, all three energies attached to the Genesect because we have 160 no wait not all three uh, two energies attached to the Genesect because we have 140 HP uh, we don't top deck anything which means it's going to be a knockout on the Shaman it's going to be a knockout on the Shaman let's discard our Hex Maniac we don't have any need for it anymore uh, I want to keep the Megaphone I want to keep all the rest of the cards in my deck, I think. Maybe not the Zubat, let's discard the Zubat. Yes, all of the other cards I kind of want to draw into. Do we need the Muscle Band? Uh, we might see a Startling Megaphone, so I'm going to keep that Muscle Band in my deck. Have we got any more Drill Burst? We have not got any more Drill Burst. We have one in our hand right here, so we will hit for a Knockout on a Shaman, and I am not sure how our opponent is going to come back from that. Mac Claw taking two more prizes. Can we get that last VS Seeker for Lysander on, uh, onto the Bronzor? Take the game that way. And there is a VS Seeker. We also get the Gold Bat to get the one hit KO on the Bronzong. If it comes out, we can put 20 on the Bronzong and knock it out that way. Uh, counter Stadium. And another end. These ends, hopefully, they don't screw us over. My goodness. These ends. Oh, and we get the stadium once more. No, no, no. And there it is. There is the concede from my opponent. So my opponent did concede after all. I think we still had it anyways. Even if my opponent knocked out our x grill, we could have stalled with our bats there and put 30 on the bench. I am not sure if it hits for weakness or resistance to the bench. 
if it's if it hits for weakness or resistance then we're actually only hitting for 10 but i don't think it does let's take a look at the stats 400 damage dealt versus 90 from my opponent x krill mvp versus ag slash ex we were just way too fast there for my opponent we set up way too fast for him to do anything against us he did have some bad luck he did fail the max elixirs twice and he didn't really set up too well uh, although he had his hex uh, his egg slash so he certainly had that going for him but we we managed to work our way around it even though i attached that dce to the uh, to the um, x grill and created that funny situation where i had five energies attached to my x grill anyways let's see if i can find ourselves another opponent all right our next opponent is johnny awesome with a metal colors and a psychic deck awesome Let's see, we go second. Awesome. Everything's awesome in this game. We go second, so we have to hopefully evolve in our first turn so we can pressure our opponent straight away. Pressure him with a mech claw for 50 damage or 70 if we have a muscle band. 70 if we have a muscle band. But no more than that. That's the most we can do in our first turn. We start off with a drill burr, a level ball for a Zubat, an ultra ball for Shaman. I could probably discard a muscle band and whatever I top deck to go for the shaman. Unless we get end and there is a Dialga X, so it looks like it's gonna be another metal deck. <laughs> Today is a full on metal episode. And there's another Ultra Ball. Wow, another Ultra Ball. I'm gonna grab a Zubat. This Drill Burr can go down in the next turn, so maybe I should grab a Drill Burr. Another Drill Burr. I think I will actually. I'm gonna discard. Uh, the training center, let's discard the training center and do I want to discard the ultra ball or the muscle bands? I think I'll discard the muscle bands, I want to keep ball surge decks, uh, ball surge cards in my deck just to be sure that I can get out a gold bat or a crow bat when needed. We'll grab another drill burr, we will attach the muscle band to this drill burr and then we shall end ourselves as well as our opponent. Hopefully find another Zubat, there's a shaman, a DCE, alright DCE, I like the DCE. And we also get another muscle band. Huh. That muscle band is a bit inconvenient. Trainer's mail fails. Where do we put the muscle band? I think uh, I won't put it down just yet. Maybe I will. I'll put it on the Zubats. No, let's put it on the Drill Burr. You never know, it might stay alive. And then we can still attack with it in the next turn. Then we'll shame in for four cards. Shame in for hopefully a draw supporter. Which we do not get. Wow. Oh, that is very unfortunate. That is very, very unfortunate. Hopefully my opponent doesn't have a DCE. Or it's going to be GG. Level ball from my opponent. We do not have any draw support. We should be able to find an ultra ball though. Because I kept that ultra ball in my deck. Or maybe a VS Seeker. There's an energy. So we won't get knocked out just yet. Uh, not just yet. Oh, trainer's mail. Fantastic. Can we get anything from this trainer's mail? An ultra ball or a VS Seeker. It's tempting just to go with the Ultra Ball, but I am going to go with the Via Seeker. I'm going to end myself. This is not a very good hand. We need to end ourselves. Let's attach an energy to the Drill Burr in the exit spot. Let's also bench the Stadium. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Let's bench the Stadium so we don't draw into it anymore. And then we'll go for the end. N gives, gives us six new cards. This time, hopefully, it will contain a draw supporter. And hopefully, we'll also find the Excadrill. There's a Gold Bat. And yes, we will find the Excadrill. We also have an AZ. Um, I'm going to have to discard this Ultra Ball and the Training Center here. Let's put 20 on the Dialga. Then let's bench this bat. Let's discard the Ultra Ball and the Training Center. Grab our Excadrill. And start hitting away at this Aegis Slash. Finally, we get an attack off. One turn too late, if you ask me. So we will dredge for... Two shield energies, if we have them, yes, we do have two shield energies. That should allow us to stay alive here, I think. Unless my opponent counters the stadium. Even if he finds a DCE, we should stay alive. And we will hit for the Mech Claw for 70 damage in the next turn. That is going to be a knockout. Uh, 60 damage because of the shield energy from my opponent. In the next turn, that will be a knockout. Because we are hitting for 120 with the Excadrill on the bench. If we find our Excadrill, we still need to find it. And we also still need to find another energy. There is a DCE, so it can go for the full metal impact. 
And this card too, Metal Energies, we have 140, 160 HP because of the Shield Energies. Never mind, we don't have 160 HP anymore. My opponent did counter the Stadium, is going to knock us out right here, right now. Very unfortunate. We almost clutched the game there, but my opponent managed to find his counter stadium just in time and now we don't have any more stadiums because we are forced to discard our stadiums at the start of the game. So we are going to promote the Golbat and we are going to pick up the Shaman unless we top deck a Sycamore. <laughs> we top deck a Sycamore, never mind, so let's go with the Sycamore instead. What a, what a top deck that was. Uh, we get the Crobat, we need, we need an Excadrill, that is what we need. Is what we direly need. So let's put 30 more on the the Alga EX. Then let's take a look. Let's discard some cards. Have we got any more Ultra Balls? We do. Let's discard a Wally. Let's discard only one more VS Seeker. Let's discard a Hex Maniac. What else do we not need at the moment? We don't really need two Golbats. I will discard one of the Golbats. Let's do that. And then we shall take a look at this trainer's mail. Can we find our Ultra Ball? Yes, we do find our Ultra Ball. Fantastic. That is what we needed. Ultra Ball away. The Lysander and uh, the Startling Megaphone because we need to keep the Energy and the VS Seeker in our hands. And we will grab the x grill and hit for the Knockout right here. Leave my opponent with just a Bronze Zone uh, to reply. Which should buy us a turn at the very least. So we'll retreat into the x grill and hit for the Mech Claw twice. Mech Claw for 60. Uh, actually, 70 because my opponent discarded the shield energy. So that is already the KO there. That is already the KO. We didn't really need that energy after all. And then 70 more for a knockout or a near knockout on the Bronze Zone. In the next turn, all we need is a Golbat uh, to evolve into. Put two damage counters on a Bronzong and that will be a KO on that Bronzong. Uh, then we can force our opponent to promote another basic and deal with that basic with our Excadrill. If he can find another basic, if he cannot, it is going to be a GG. GG, Mr. Awesome, Johnny Awesome. Can he, does he have what he takes? Does he have ball surge cards? Does he have a Sycamore? Does he have an N? Does he have anything? He does have anything because he's got six cards, but are they useful to him? I don't think so because he doesn't seem to know what to do. I might even have to make a cut here until he does something, anything. And he just passed the turn, that's it. That is GG. GG to my opponent with the Dialga deck. Uh, another metal deck goes down against Excadrill. Let's see if we can find ourselves maybe a non-metal opponent. Up next, we are up against Mefty, 15, with a colorless and a fighting deck. No metal Pokemon anymore. We are up against a different type of deck, a fighting deck, possibly Zygarde, which is... Ah, that's a tough one for us, that's a tough one. Opponent's turn, my opponent starts off first as well on top of it. Well, we start off with a Drill Burr, but that is most likely going to get knocked out in the next turn if my opponent is playing Zygarde. And we don't have any other basics. And this doesn't make us any wiser here, this hand. We saw strong energy, some basic energies. We already knew he was playing fighting attackers, or we, well, it was very likely, 95% likely. This time, he does find a basic, I think. Hopefully, it is a Regirock if this is Zygarde. Hopefully, my opponent starts off with a Regirock in the active spot and is forced to dig for a switch or an AZ or a floatstone to retreat that Regirock. That's what we need to hope for here. And he finds two basics, so it is not likely that he will start off with a Regirock. We'll draw into one more card, it is a Trainer's Mail. There is the Gibble and a Regirock. Maybe this is just Garchomp Regirock, which is good for us. That gives us a better chance at winning this game. And grabs and Wally, oh no. He is going to Wally straight away, maybe. He grabs a Wally from the random receiver. Is he going to Wally? Uh, just a roller skates for a Tails. No extra cards for you. And there is a Wally. He's going to Wally into the Gabite. So in the next turn, our Drillbur is probably going to get knocked out. Shaman for four cards. Unless we can license the Red Rock. Unless we can license that Red Rock. That could help us a little bit. There's a Landorus. Will we see the Zygarde or is this just Garchomp? Garchomp Regirock. 
And Ultra Ball is going to discard uh, Fighting Energy and Gabite. And gets out to Garchomp for the next turn. So we might just have to end our opponent here. Force him to look for that Garchomp once more. Uh, what do we get? Trainer's Mail. Alright, let's discard one Sycamore. And another Sycamore because we are going to go for the end if we can. Let's get out another Drill Burr. A Drill Burr is important for us right here. And we also want to find a Zubat. Because then we can deny my opponent the use of Focus Sash on his Garchomp. A Lysander right there. That's interesting. That's interesting. I might just Lysander the Regirock. And a level ball for a Zubat. I'm gonna risk it. I'm gonna Lysander that Regirock. We have some more basics on our bench. So we are fine for now. Let's just hope my opponent doesn't have a switch in hand. To switch that Regirock out of the active spots. We will end our turn. Can my opponent find a switch? Does he have anything? He didn't use a draw supporter yet, so he might not have a draw supporter in his hand. Will this play allow us to win a turn for us to get ourselves an extra turn where we can set up a bit more, possibly even attack with the X Grill, with uh, evolve the X Grill from the Drill Burr in the active spot and then attack? That way, this Drill Burr in the active spot does not go to waste. And I think we've bought ourselves a turn here. I think we've bought ourselves a turn. There's a Garchomp, but we already knew that was coming. And a Sycamore. He did have a Sycamore. A Sycamore and the Birch. Alright, the Birch. So no Corina for my opponent this turn. Corina could have helped him to find a Floatstone. Random Receiver. That is not a Floatstone. That is not a Switch. That is not an Escape Rope. And he cannot use AZ anymore. He actually attaches to the Regirock. And Random Receives for an N. And that's okay, because we will reshuffle my opponent's hand with our own end. Wow, fantastic. We bought ourselves a turn here. And there is a Shaman as well. Amazing. Let's see, this Regirock has 180 HP. So we need actually two bites on it to knock it out. We can one hit kill the Garchomp, so I'm going to put it on the Regirock for now. And we should find some more Zubats. Uh, we should be able to find some more Zubats to put damage on the Garchomp if my opponent does get out. Focus Sashes. So there is a Zubat. Here is the Excadrill as well. Let's evolve into the Excadrill. What do we find from the level ball? Another Zubat. Fantastic. That is the last Zubat that we have. Uh, we shall bench it. Make good use of it, hopefully. And then it is time to go for the end. We All we need is an energy off of this end. A DCE. And <laughs> there are several energies. That's a lot of energies right there. So we will attach... One energy will evolve into the Excadrill. And then we shall dredge for two shield energies if we have them. Yes, we have them in our deck. Two shield energies to reduce the damage done to Excadrill a little bit. This should allow us to stay alive against Garchomp for sure. And we'll hit for a Mechlaw for 50 in the next turn. That is a knockout if my opponent cannot retreat the Regirock. That is a knockout because we are hitting for 100 and the Regirock... Never mind, has 110 damage. A switch into the Garchomp and a strong energy. This Garchomp is hitting for 100 damage minus 20 is 80 damage. My opponent needs a muscle bands, but even then it is not enough for a knockout. He is 10 short for a knockout. So these shield energies will save us. Fighting Fury Belt, that is not gonna cut it. Fighting Fury Belt doesn't do anything for Garchomp. Puts it on the Regirock as he should and Sycamores his hand away. So we will take the first knockout of this game, I think. Muscle bands, again, it's not enough if I calculate it correctly. It should allow us to stay alive. And then we will take a knockout on the Garchomp if we can find a muscle band. Although I think we might actually miss out on a muscle band. So we might not get a knockout here. We might just miss out on a knockout. We could actually grab a Crobat and that would do it for the knockout. 90 damage right there. Is going to accelerate an energy onto the Regirock and a pass of the turn. And there's another Ultra Ball. Let's attach a DCE. Yes, and I'm, I think I'm gonna discard the Startling Megaphone. Fighting Fury Belt. This Regirock has 150 HP. That's just a little bit too much. Mm. And then, no, I'm gonna discard uh, the Ultra Ball and the Energy here. And I'm gonna get myself a Crobat. Or a Golbat. No, we need the Crobat. We need the Crobat. To get a knockout on the Garchomp here. It is paramount that we get a knockout. 
so we can get something from the prizes hopefully something that will allow us to draw into uh draw supporter for example a vn seeker or a trainer's mail and there it is the knockout on the guard jump what do we get from the prizes this is going to be very very important it is a uh, drill bar no, not what we were looking for so we need to hope we get something from the top deck here comes the red rock red rock with 150 hp if we can top deck an energy we can knock out this red rock in the next turn how many energies do we have left we have four more metal energies in our deck and one more dce there is a focus sash on the carbink and a roller skates my opponent is down to 19 cards we still have 26 cards in our deck another roller skates another tails i think my opponent hasn't hit a single roller skates just yet not a single one and just like that my opponent takes a prize for himself we will promote the crowbat maybe i should have kept the dce for the shame into sky return but we top deck the energy so this is going to be a knockout on the red rock that startling megaphone away that fighting fury belt good thing i kept that startling megaphone otherwise we wouldn't have been able to one hit ko this red rock and we will bench another drill bar take two prizes from this red rock this should give us something here for the next turn why are we only hitting for 50 Am I missing something? Why are we only hitting for 50? Mechclaw for 50 again. What did my opponent play? Hex Maniac. My opponent played Hex Maniac if I'm correct. Um, startling Megaphone, Startling Megaphone. There's a knockout on our x -Grill. I'm still trying to figure out here. Played roller skates. Oh, any damage done to this Pokemon by attacks is reduced by 20. That's why I didn't see that. That's so very unfortunate. But we do get an energy for the knockout here. So we, we got that top deck for the knockout. Wow. That could have been really bad if we didn't get the energy. I missed out on the 20 reduced damage from my opponent's uh, Regirock. But just like that, my opponent doesn't have a backup attacker. He can get back energies from the discard power with the carbing break. But we have fighting resistance, so we buy ourselves a couple of turns here. Until we can find something to uh, shuffle back some Pokemon like a Super Ult or a Draw Supporter. To draw to our deck and find the Super Ult. And that's all we need to get going again. Get the next girl going. This is going to be a close game. A very close game. There is a Lysener. Onto the drill burr, it's going to put some damage on the drill burr, but we have the X drill right here, so we can evolve if we want to. Diamond gift for 40, that is not a knockout. We will have to attack with our X drill. We don't have another option. Starts powering up the Landorus for a Sky Lariat, and there is a training center. Let's see, let's see. Well, we have to go with the X drill. Oh, we are not top decking anything useful. Where are our VS Seekers? We still have four VS Seekers. Do I need to count to the stadium? I have 100, and H 100 HP with the stadium. I think I will, so my opponent cannot as easily knock out our Shaman. If you, if you license us a Shaman, we shall dredge, get a DCE out. And then we shall hit for the Mech Claw. Force our opponent to retreat if he wants to get a knockout. And we are left without any energies then. We are left without any energies. Only one more energy in our deck. We need a draw supporter. We need super odds ASAP. We need, we need so many things. My opponent counters the stadium. Can he find an energy for the Landorus? Or is he just going to attack us with the Carbing Break? The Carbing Break will stay alive because we only hit for 50 damage. That's unfortunate. He's used one VS Seeker. We have used zero. Corina for... Maybe a professor's letter if my opponent has that in his deck. I'm not too sure if he does and I missed out what he got there. Hmm. Can he power up the landers? No, he cannot. Just a diamond gift. So we bought ourselves a turn. Because my opponent failed to power up the landers. There's an energy on the landers and another energy on the landers. That's four energy on that landers. 
Uh, muscle bands, uh, that's actually a knockout with our Mechla. So now we can hit for the one hit KO and then force my opponent to promote another Pokemon. We take one more prize here. Will this be enough to win the game eventually? And, and another Drillbur. Another Drillbur. We are just getting Drillburs from the prizes. Promotes the Landorus. We'll hit for a Mechla on that Landorus. Does my opponent have the switch to retreat this Landorus? And KO our Excadrill. If not, we buy ourselves one more turn. And that might just be what we need. There's a the Muscle Bands. Another Carbink. Uh, ooh, and another Gibble as well. And an N, yes. He does N us, so we do get two cards from the N. Uh, this is super odd, fantastic. We get a super odd. We get, oh, there's a switch, so he's going to knock us out. He's going to knock out our Excadrill. There is no doubt about it. We will promote our... Crobat, our Crobat has 150 HP, my opponent is hitting for 40, 50, 150, minus 20 because of resistance, that's 130, that's not a knockout on our Crobat, so we shall uh, super out here, we shall super out back, uh, one Drillbur, one Excadrill, and one energy, we need more energies in our deck, we need more energies in our deck, and then we shall VL Seeker for, we could license out to Shaman at some point, and knock out to Shaman possibly, but for now, we'll Lysener, uh, we'll Via Seeker for a Sycamore. Try to find our Drillbur, so we can bench the Drillbur. Try to find some gold mats as well. There is a gold mat, there is a Drillbur. One energy for the Drillbur. Let's just hope my opponent doesn't have a Lysener. Then let's put 20 on uh, the Landorus on the bench. We can always knock it out with the Crobat. Actually, we can do that right now with the Skill Dive. We will counter the Stadium. And we shall hit for a skill dive for the knockout on that Landorus. Threaten to take the game in the next turn, possibly. Uh, trainer's Mail, because we have the Gibble there on the bench, all we need to do is skill dive to the Gibble and evolve into a Crobat to take the game. Or we could put some pressure on the Carbink if my opponent evolves into the Gabite. So we have some options here to take the game in the next turn. A couple of options. And we should stay alive with our Crobats. A startling Megaphone from our opponent. I don't think we have any tool cards in place, so that startling Megaphone is not too useful. I could look for a Muscle Band with this Trainer's Mail. Do we have any more Muscle Bands? We have one more. One more Muscle Band, or I could just look for a Super Alt. Actually, a Super Alt would be so nice. Get a Super Alt from the Trainer's Mail. Super Alt back. One more Energy. Uh, one more Gold Bats. No, we don't have Gold Bats. One more Energy. Two more Energy. And an x grill possibly. Yes, that would be perfect. There's a Lysen on a Shaman. Is going to knock out our Shaman, bring himself down to one prize. Now it needs to happen. This is the turn where it needs to happen. Can we finish off this game? Can we take the win here? What do we get? We get the Super Hot from the top deck. I think that's it. I think that's game. Two energies. And an x -Grill. Then let's take a look at the Trainer's Mail. The Via Seeker. No need for the Via Seeker. All we need is a Crobat here. So I'm going to Sycamore my hand away. Hopefully get an Ultra Ball. There is the Crobat. That, that's it. That's game. That is game indeed. We might as well evolve into the Excadrill. Uh, maybe I'm miscalculating. Attach an Energy. Evolve into the Crobat. Put 30 on the Gibble. That Gibble is going to cost my opponent the game. He should not have benched that Gibble after all. Look at that. The last prize. It came down to the wire. What a game that was. That was so close. That could have gone either way. Jesus. Amazing. Amazing. I'm not gonna lie. We did have uh, a lucky draw there in the end by finding that Crobat. Even though we were top digging for part of the game, the end was so clutch. Let's take a look at the stats. Uh, biggest attack, 70 versus 150 for my opponent. 150 actually from the Landorus, you don't see that too often. MVP x Grill versus Landorus. That is going to be it for me today. That is definitely it. I am out of time. I already spent way too much time recording this episode. Way, way, way too much. 
So I'm gonna leave it here. Leave a like if you enjoyed the Excredible Bats deck. And subscribe to my channel for more silly and fun deck ideas. I hope you have a truly fantastic day. And I will see you on Sunday with the next part of my quest to pull a Jolteon X out of some generation packs. See you then. Carp, carp, carp. Go, 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 go